Uh, I'm Raha Kimnavar. I'm a hydrologist and I teach water and climate science at Georgetown University. Well, hydrologists essentially study the water cycle and any changes that have uh, been brought to that cycle. So we study the movement of water through all its different forms and phases uh, in order to try to understand how we can manage water resources better and really to understand the impacts of things like climate change and uh, deforestation, for example. So a lot of my work is really trying to understand how our human actions impact the water cycle. So I've uh, studied a, a lot um, the impact of deforestation and reforestation on hydrology and on our water resources. I think it was water. My first fascination with the natural world was water. I truly am obsessed with water in all its forms. I cannot be near a body of water and not have the inclination to want to jump in it and really become one with it. So I, I yeah, I think it, it actually um, was a very early, early um, love for, for water. Mm. So in, I spent part of my childhood, I'm originally from Iran, from Esfahan, which is a semi-arid um, city and, uh, and also in Southern California. So between those two places, we, there are a lot of challenges with water and uh, for example, things like multi-year droughts that were affecting our, um, when I was in Iran, it was affecting, um, you know, our, our water would get shut off at times. So there would just be no water available um, on certain days when in the summer when we had had prolonged drought days. I, I think that that fundamental kind of elegance and the beauty of it is what really intrigued me. I was, even as a child, really intrigued by rain. I, I thought it was just amazing every time it rained. I was so excited and I would, I would collect rain, you know, in like little buckets and little pots and pans. I didn't really know what to do with it at the time, but uh, but what's interesting is a lot of hydrology is collecting rainfall in a sense. It really makes you appreciate and respect water. And uh, you know, that, that understanding that you could potentially not have it, uh, you know, from one day to the next, it becomes much more real when you live in a, you know, arid or semi-arid environment that's especially seeing a lot of impacts from climate change. So uh, y your relationship with water is much, um, is much more complex in some ways, but it's much closer as well. Water is just so fundamental to life on Earth. It's fundamental to everything that, that we do. And I think understanding and addressing the challenges around water help us understand and address the challenges around so many other things, uh, food, energy, uh, you know, societal value systems as they change. And I think the other piece of it, honestly, is that water is so cultural. It's, it's really beautiful. I think getting, getting to understand, learn about different people's relationship with water is a really important part of understanding the science as well, because the science can't be separated from the culture and the people. Want to learn more about our national parks? Then hit that subscribe button, friend. Stay up to date and catch bonus features by following us on Instagram at Outsider.